So what about the second chair you mentioned? This is about a chair originally designed by Marcel Brewer, who was a teacher at the Bauhaus at that time. Let me tell you about the Bauhaus. It was the first modern design school in Germany and its influence continues till today in the way design is taught and practiced around the world. It's an interesting story about Brewer. When he was a faculty at Bauhaus, he used to drive a bicycle back and forth and would observe the handlebar of the bicycle every day. He realized that this bent metal pipe has not been used in furniture so far and that inspired him to develop this range of furniture. This chair became extremely popular in India after Godrej started manufacturing it. But what about the patent of the chair? Godrej started manufacturing it after the patent had expired. They even designed a metal table to go with it. And this became the iconic table and chair set that we see in government offices and banks all over the country. So this chair is popularly called the cantilever chair and I want to show you why this design has remained timeless and hasn't changed for five decades. People don't realize what a fantastic chair this is. So it consists of one S-bent metal pipe which is a single continuous piece and that provides comfort while sitting but also it gives you springiness while you sit. Then this cane weave, it adds to the comfort, but also it provides ventilation and that's absolutely great for hot and humid climates. Additionally, the seat and the back have a wooden frame and these are separately assembled, which makes the manufacturing process really easy because the metal part is done separately and then these frames are added on separately. What a journey Marcel Brewer's chair has seen. It is important for the designer to have a good understanding of possibilities and limitations of materials and manufacturing. I was thinking that classic designs like the chairs you just showed stay forever, but in the modern context, products are evolving constantly. Yes, this is due to constant advancement in technologies. Manufacturing and materials also change as do people's aspirations. 